Welcome class 5. In this video, we will discuss about LCM. Now, what is this LCM? LCM means least common multiple. It is the least common multiple of two or more numbers. I will explain you with the help of an example. Here is an example. Let us find the LCM of 2 and 3. The common multiples of 2 and 3 are 6, 12, 18 and so on. But the least common multiple is 6. So the LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. The next example is to find out the LCM of 4 and 5. So first we have to find out the common multiples of 4 and 5. They are 20, 40, etc. But the least common multiple is 20. So the LCM of 4 and 5 is 20. Now the properties of LCM. The first property. The LCM of two prime numbers is their product means if we have to calculate the LCM of two prime numbers then we have to find out the product of those prime numbers. Example LCM of 3 and 2. 3 is a prime number and 2 is also a prime number. So their LCM is their product. So the LCM is 3 to the 6. Another example, LCM of 7 and 2. 7 is a prime number and 2 is also a prime number. So their LCM is equal to their product. So LCM of 7 and 2 is 7 to the 14. Next property, if a number is a factor of another number, then their LCM is the greater number itself means if we take two numbers that one number is the factor of other number then the greatest number is the LCM of those two numbers. Example LCM of 3 and 9. 3 is the factor of 9 therefore LCM of 3 and 9 is 9 the greater number. Next example, LCM of 8 and 24. 8 is the factor of 24. Therefore, the LCM of 8 and 24 is 24, the greater number. Next property, the LCM of two or more numbers cannot be less than either of them. Means, LCM cannot be less than the numbers whose LCM is to be calculated. It is quite natural that LCM is the least common multiple. How can a multiple be less than the number? So it is not possible that LCM is less than the numbers whose LCM is to be calculated. Next point, the LCM of two consecutive numbers is the product of the numbers means if we calculate the LCM of two consecutive numbers then it is equal to the product of that numbers next LCM can be performed by two method number one prime factor method number two common division method first we will discuss prime factor method with the help of an example. Find the LCM of 12, 15 and 24. First we have to find out the prime factor representation of the given numbers. So the prime factor representation of 12 is 2 into 2 into 3. Next the prime factor representation of 15 is 3 into 5. The prime factor representation of 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3. Now, if 
we compare the prime factor representations, then we observe that 2 occurs maximum 3 times, 3 occur maximum 1 time and 5 occur maximum 1 time. So, to calculate the LCM of the given numbers, we have to find out the product of maximum occurring numbers. Means the LCM of 12, 15 and 24 is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, maximum occurrence of 2 is 3 times. So, we consider 2 3 times. Maximum occurrence of 3 1 time. So, we consider 3 1 time. And the maximum occurrence of 5 is also 1 time. So, we consider 5 1 time. So, the LCM is 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. So, the product is 120. Therefore, the LCM of 12, 15 and 24 is 120. This is the prime factor method. Now the second method, common division method. In this method, first we have to find out the prime factors of the given numbers. Then we have to take out the product of that prime factors. Example. Find the LCM of 20, 25, 30 and 36 by common division method. First we have to find out the factors. The factors of the given numbers are 2, 2, 3, 3, 5 and 5. So the prime factor representation is 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5 into 5. So, the LCM is the product of these numbers. So, the product is 900. Therefore, the LCM of 20, 25, 30 and 36 is 900. That is all in this video. In the next video, we will start exercise 8C. Bye.